If you're asked to simplify the fraction 11 sevenths, here's how you can do that. So we want to find another fraction that's equivalent, has the same value as 11 over 7, just that we've simplified it or reduced it down to lowest terms. To do that, we need to find a common factor, something that goes into 11 and 7 evenly. When I look at 11 and 7, the only number that goes in evenly to 11 and 7 is 1. So if I divide 11 by 1, I get 11. And if I divide 7 by 1, I get 7. And that's what we started with. What that means is that the fraction 11 sevenths, it's already reduced as far as it can be reduced. So this is already simplified. Note that it is an improper fraction. We have the numerator, 11, that's greater than the denominator, 7. So we could change it to a mixed number. Let's do that. So 7 will go into 11 one time. 1 times 7, that's 7. And then we have 4 left over. So we end up with 1 and 4 over, bring the denominator across, 7. We can check that. 1 times 7, that's 7 plus 4. That's our 11 here. And then we keep the denominator the same. So the improper fraction, 11 sevenths, it does equal a mixed number, 1 and 4 sevenths. But back to our original question. The fraction, 11 sevenths, it's already reduced as far as we can reduce it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.